new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you conviction in a case of alice siebold the award-winning author of lovely bones has been overturned 40 years later due to serious errors by the prosecution Anthony Broadwater, a 61, was cleared on Monday by New York Supreme Court Justice Gordon Cuffey of charges that he went after Siebold when she was an 18-year-old first-year student at Syracuse University back in 1981. Siebold, now 58, wrote about the attack in her 1999 memoir, Lucky. Siebold picked out another man, not Broadwater, in a police lineup after the incident took place but later identified broadwater as her attacker on the witness stand wrote in lucky that broadwater and the other man in the lineup looked almost identical and that she feared that a defense attorney would exploit a white woman's confusion over two black men broadwater spent 16 years in prison and had been in new york's offenders registry since his release in 1999 he'll now be taken off that list broadwater dropped his head in his hands and sobbed when the judge cleared him he told the new york times quote i just hope and pray that maybe miss sebo will come forward and say hey i made a grave mistake and give me an apology i sympathize with her but she was wrong broadwater recounted the harm the conviction had on his life even after his release from prison he refused to have children because of the stigma of the conviction. Broadwater was convicted largely because of Siebold's identification and because an expert witness testified that microscopic hairs analyzed had tied him to the case. The validity of that kind of analysis has since been discontinued by the Department of Justice. That was the only purported forensic link to the crime. Scrutiny of the case against Broadwater increased after Lucky was picked up in 2019 for a Netflix film. Executive producer Tim Muchante began questioning the conviction as he poured over the script and Siebold's memoir. He eventually dropped the project and hired a private detective in an investigation that ended up in Fitzpatrick's office. It's unclear what will happen to the film now. Siebold who lives in San Francisco, could not be reached for comment. Her most notable novel, Lovely Bones, is about the case and murder of a teenage girl. The bestseller was made into a movie back in 2009. Let me let me first by saying this. I don't know who Tim Buchante is, uh, but shout out to that guy right there. Because I promise you a lot of other producers or a lot of other, you know, people that's looking just to make money. I promise you they wouldn't have done all of that hard work and spent all of that money that Tim did in order to get to the bottom of this. And ended up inadvertently cracking open the case. Improved a black man's innocence. That's crazy. I've never heard of a story like this ever before in my life. Like I said, shout out to Tim. That's a good man right there. That's, that's, that's a good man. I, I wish you uh, uh, much success. <laughs> for what it is that you did because i promise you like i said let any of these other directors out here that's just looking to make some money i promise you they would have not done all of this work they would have not have done all of this background research at all at all like i said that's realistically that's the main reason we're even talking about this right now right because he decided that, yo something ain't adding up i looked after all of this looked at the movie you know looked at you know lovely bones and then looked at you know the memoir and stuff and it's like yo um some of the stuff is inconsistent it's not really making sense right and then we go back to the 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 previous thing they stated in an article seaboat she said that oh well you know um I, I had to pin it on somebody because you know if i didn't you know then they they would have you know tried to basically say that it just didn't take place huh huh really come on now come on come on 
like I said, the only reason she even, if she even is a millionaire or has a lot of money, she got all of that money due to this black man. Solely due to this black man. He was locked up for all these years. And now you want to come out and you want to say something. Really? That's what we're doing? That's what we're about to sit up here and do right now. You had this man locked up for all of this time. All like word 40 years later 40 that that's that's what we're doing 40 years later and then like he said before in the story he can count on 10 hands how many people will actually still deal with him because they believe beyond a shadow of a doubt with what uh sebo said what the prosecutor said what the judge said what the evidence said they believe the whole system and i promise you all the people he's talking about you know or who they are right like i said before this is what happens when you have these tears this is what these tears can sit up here and do they can sit up here and get a man who didn't even commit the crime wrongfully convicted have 40 years of his life basically stolen away from him while she sits up there and goes and lives the high life hobnobbing getting deals book signings making movies right She's making money off of an innocent black man. Look at that. Look how the system works, guys. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up right there. Because like I told you guys before, that's what the system was built for. It's built to protect those who lie. It's built to protect their own. It's not built to, uh, uh, in a sense, prove the innocence of black men. It's not built to do that. They don't care. The system is built to put black men away. That's it. It's an open and shut case, Johnson. Sprinkle some crack on it because that's clearly what they did back in that day. They found some some loose uh, uh, hair evidence. Not sure where they got their hair from. I'm pretty sure they sat up there and found a brush in his house or comb through his house. And then they decided to plant that somewhere like they would normally do. Like I said, watch a lot of these crime shows. Watch a lot of these movies, these crime dramas, and look at what a lot of these cops will do in order to get a conviction, in order to lock somebody up, in order to pad, you know, their files and make it seem like, you know, they're on an up and up. They'll literally break into somebody's house. They will get a comb or comb through whatever they can and get some evidence to basically plant it somewhere else and tell the forensics or whatever it is like hey i found something here i need you to you know come down here and come look at this because i think some people missed something right more than likely that's what they did to mr broadwater they got that loose evidence that loose hair from somewhere from a coat a jacket a brush a hat a bed sheet somewhere off the floor and planted it somewhere on her clothing or at her house and told the boys to come right back to come check this out. I think we didn't crack the case. Like I said, everybody who worked on that case needs to be locked up for 40 years. The same amount of time that he lost, lock them all up. Lock them all up. Where, where, where is that woman at? What's her name? Seawater. Let me look back here. Seabold. They need to sit up here and lock her up for 40 years. I'm not even sure how old how old is she right now. She they say she's 58. Lock her up. Lock her up until she's 48. Let the world change some more. Like I said, and all the money she set up there made off of any of her books and her stories, that money needs to sit up there and get put directly into his account. And like I said, what Mr. Uh, 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 Broadwater needs to sit up there and do, the 10 people that sit up there and mess with you at any point in time that you happen to sit up there and make it, remember those 10 people. Anybody else that didn't want to mess with you, don't sit up there and give them the time of day. Because what's going to happen is they're going to be like, yo, bro, I know you was, you know, you was innocent. You know, I just didn't know what to say because of everything that's don't 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 sit up there and do it. Don't do it. And like I said, I can't tell Mr. Broadwater how to sit up there and live his life or how to sit up there and believe he been through more than I've ever been in my life. Right. So I ain't even going to sit up there and go there with the brother. He didn't went through enough. And he already he has even more to sit up there and go through because of everything that took place. He has to get taken off of a list that he should have never sat up there and been on. He got multiple strikes against him. And I'll tell you this, black people stop doing this. At any moment in time, 
that it looks like you know you are innocent or you know whatnot or whatever stop saying that you forgive people stop saying that you're not angry you have every single right to sit up there and be angry because i promise you at any moment in time during those interviews she was getting fake tears as if he actually did it so if she can give fake tears you have every single right to sit up there and be angry like i said never sit up there and give excuses as to why it is that you cannot feel the way that you rightfully so should sit up there and feel after being locked up for 40 years because this woman decided to sit up there and lie and make money off of that lie off of getting you convicted an innocent black man saying that yo you the one that did it like i said that's ridiculous and this is why i sit up there and keep telling bro like yo like i said i i don't know what to sit up there and say for brothers out here all i'm going to keep saying is this you decide to go or be near them just know for a fact at any given moment in time that there's one of them out there that will decide to pin something on you that you didn't necessarily do let you be in the lineup and a crime was committed or a supposed crime i promise you she's going to pick you y'all could have had a nice time a nice evening all of this other type of stuff but if they're saying that yo if you don't get this conviction they're gonna you know say that you're this they're gonna say that you're that right they got all the police and the lawyers talking to her ear we're gonna need you to pin somebody even if you know what not or whatever and they're gonna pin you to it and she's gonna be the main culprit like i said pay attention liars out here dog but anyways let me know what y'all think about the story and everything that i listed in the comment description below and as always peace love and stay tuned for the next video